Hey guys, I know I haven't been on camera in a while. Uh, it's been the holidays and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm just doing a real quick review of another smart fan remote. This is the Yuki Halu. What does it say here? Ceiling fan remote control kit. This is another Amazon one. I'd said I was done reviewing these. But this one came up in my suggested and it said four speed. And so far, I didn't have a four-speed, like, physical remote. And so I was like, ooh, I want that. So I got it. Uh, and I was very disappointed because, as you can probably guess, the fourth speed was off. It's just a three-speed remote that they were able to call four-speed by counting off as a speed. So that was disappointing. It's, like, almost identical to the other ones I have. Here's, like, my standard living room one that you've seen a thousand times, the Smart, uh, smart Life. I can't remember. Kia Chip. And here's the Yuki Halu. So other than saying Yuki Halu on it, there's no difference. The uh, receiver's different, though. It's much smaller. I don't have a Kia Chip receiver on me to show you, but they're the size of a standard ceiling fan receiver. This one's about maybe two-thirds of the size, maybe even half. It's smaller, so you'll have an easier time fitting it in a fan canopy, which is nice. Um, capacitor values inside. It's got four capacitors. It's got two two microfarads and two three microfarads. So the medium speed is clearly 10. And the, um, the low speed, I guess, could be 4, 5, or 6, depending on the combination. Um, I'm guessing 5, but I'm not really sure. I used it on, uh, I tested it on that bathroom fan, which uh, is the little Emerson LeFan Sears spinner. Um, the last time I did one of these videos, the bathroom fan was a Newtone Proline, so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so... I'm not sure what the values are. Um, you could solder them out and change them, though. Um, they're accessible once you... In fact, let me open it up. I actually don't even have a screwdriver here, but I have a butter knife. I didn't feel like going to the garage and getting a screwdriver. So many of us have used butter knives. So two there. Three microfarad. And the two on the inside are two. Let's see how they're wired together. Maybe we can get a clue as to Looks like the two threes are together. And the two twos are together. So low is probably either well, it's either four or six for sure. But, um, and then, you know, medium is 10. We can compare the Emerson LeFan speeds and see. Tell you what, let me do that real quick, and then I'll, uh, I can come back. Okay, if you go and look at my video of the Emerson fan, uh, it looks like the low speed's actually 6. Um, there'd be a way to test this for sure. It would be complicated. I'd either have to get um, the kilowatt and wire it up and test it that way and compare it to what the fan draws in the garage or um, or actually take it apart and operate it and use a meter while we're, you know, while we're testing it. Neither of those do I think it's worth going to the trouble because I'm not actually crazy about this control. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it's six for low. Does it say? Maybe it'll say. It does not. So, either way, it's got a faster low speed than some of the other controls, and definitely a faster um, medium, the medium being 10. Um, I don't like that it didn't allow me to use percentages. You know, I like to say uh, bathroom fan 10%, bedroom fan 50%, um, <clears throat> and so on and so forth. So the only reason I can think of to buy this instead of the Kia chip is that it comes in this tiny receiver which might fit in some canopies the Kia chip does not. Otherwise um, I'm sticking with my recommendation. You need a three speed remote, stick with the Kia chip. Uh, this is cool. Uh, there's no real downside to it but it's not my favorite of the ones that I've tested. Um, so there you have it. Hope this helped somebody. Uh, stay tuned for the footage of the actual testing of it on the bathroom fan. I forgot to mention in the testing footage, I call it K-1. 
KLK fan. That's just what Smart Life automatically called it. It's interesting. It says KLK, and here it's Yuki Halu. So I don't know where the, what the names have to do with each other. But I just left it since it's just for testing. Okay, here we go. So here's the test. There's the receiver there. Just wired temporarily for the video. You can see that it's smaller, which is nice. I don't know the capacitor values. Um, we can try to gauge from the fan speed what they are and then compare them to the fan video on the test rig. Um, so let's give it a try. Alexa, KLK fan speed one. Okay. Looks like it goes to high first. <clears throat> Alexa, KLK fan, 50%. That value is out of range for device KLK ceiling fan. Okay, so it doesn't like the percentages either, so I'm not crazy about this one. Alexa, KLK fan level 2. Okay. It didn't beep, so... Alexa, KLK fan speed 2. Hmm, I don't know that one. Alexa, KLK fan level 2. I don't know how to set desk fan to that setting. No! Alexa, KLK ceiling fan speed 2. Okay. That worked. Alexa, KLK fan level three. Okay. Alexa, KLK fan off. Okay. Alexa, KLK ceiling fan 10%. That value is out of range for device KLK ceiling fan. Alexa, KLK ceiling fan, level one. Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, KLK ceiling fan, level one. Okay. Okay, well hopefully that gives you a good enough idea. Thanks for watching.